All right, guys. Well, it's officially sweater weather season. Anyways, I'm going to bring you guys along. Uh, today's not going to be a big day. I just want to kind of jump back into the vlogs. Uh, we're just going to go to the store today, and I want to show you uh, some of the stuff that I like to pick up at Dollar Tree when I do go there. So I plan on going full-time on YouTube. I was going full-time on TikTok. I gained uh, a little over 20,000 followers over there. And I hope to bring some of that audience over here. If not, I want to grow up my YouTube. Because growing my YouTube has always been my goal. Like, it's always been my goal. But I had a few videos go viral on TikTok, and that brought me in a lot of followers over there. And something about TikTok that I don't really like is... There's no, there's not really a whole lot of freedom of speech over there. There's, there's a lot of things that you can say that'll get you a banned or community guideline strikes, like really bad. Like my account is so close to being banned over there. I have an account warning and I haven't done anything like crazy or anything. There's definitely some more like, more freedom of speech on YouTube than what there's on TikTok. Because over on TikTok, they'll ban you for the stupidest stuff. They, they really will. So yeah, I'm glad to be back. I hope to be more full-time on YouTube versus what I have been on TikTok. Because I want to really gain my following here on YouTube because I don't see my TikTok going anywhere because I already have the account warning badge on my profile and that means I'm going to be banned here soon. Like, I'm like a video or two away. I think I'm one video away from being banned over there. And I haven't done anything crazy to get banned. It's just the way I talk. It's the authenticity of the way I am. And it's not just me. There's a guy I like following on TikTok, and he's on his fifth TikTok page. And it's they'll ban you over just the stupidest stuff. TikTok is a literal joke. Like, like it really, really is. TikTok is one of the pages where it's fairly easy to grow on. Like, it's not hard to get a video that goes viral. So it's fairly easy to grow on TikTok. But most big creators, they're promoting their YouTube page. They're running out and they're creating YouTube pages. And they're trying to move their audience from TikTok to YouTube. Because you just never know when you could get banned just like that over on TikTok. Because they ban you over the stupidest stuff. Anyways, we're going to head to the store. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I enjoy picking up when I go to Dollar Tree. It ain't going to be a super crazy vlog today. Just uh, this is something to get my feet back into doing uh, vlogs here on YouTube. Because I've been missing it. It's been a long time. I really miss it. And I got some videos that I, uh, I have a list of videos I already have that I need to edit. That I need to post for you guys. And something nice about this fall weather is, is when I have like my drink or in this case it's my chocolate milk. When I have it in the car or when I like, go in the store... The fall weather keeps it, like, pretty chill and cold while I'm in the store. Compared to when it's hot in summer out, I come out and it's, like, really, like, boiling hot. And you don't want to drink, like, hot milk. And you don't want to drink hot pop. So, yeah, I'm loving this fall weather. If you know me, you know I like drinking out of a mason jar. I drink my pop from a mason jar. Uh, this is chocolate milk right here, so I like drinking milk, chocolate milk out of a mason jar. I just love mason jars because they're so useful for everything. You First of all, they're, ma they're made for canning, so you can do that. Um, you can put a drink in it, drink it. You can buy these fancy uh, seal lids that screw on. To hold a drink. Like, and you can buy infusers to like put like a fruit in and it'll uh, like fruitify your water. It'll like give your water some flavor. Like there's a lot of things you can get like little accessories you can get for a mason jar. And not only this you can buy like you can 3D print like specific things that can go on top. Little strainer lids. I love mason jars. You can get a lot of use out of these things. So stick around. If you are new here make sure you subscribe. And yeah, let's get to it. So this is a really good parent hack. If you go to McDonald's, well at least the one by me has it, they have a little activity center display that has coloring pages and Crayola crayons. Yes, actual Crayola crayons. Got my frappe. It's the first day of fall, so it's going to be a good day. All right, Presley, got you some goodies. There you go. All right, I couldn't do the vlog without adding in Goodwill. So we have here in the glass case a Dollar Tree mini powered speaker for $3.99. Alright, we are at Walmart now. Trust me, we're about to get into the deals. Uh, I did not know they had this Addison Ray doll. That's crazy. I did not know they had such a thing. Okay, I want to show you guys this really cool Rubik's Cube that I got uh, last week or a couple weeks ago. 
It's called the Rubik's Phantom. But this one is so cool. It's heat touch like sensitive. Meaning where you touch it, it heats up and it reveals the colors. Just like that. And the cool part is, is when it cools down, the cube turns black again. Yeah, this Rubik's Cube is pretty cool. It's heat sensitive. And when I saw it, I, I first saw it in Kenton, Ohio, Walmart. And when I saw it, I just had to have it. So I bought it. And it's pretty cool. It, it is. I'm not like super fast at solving the Rubik's Cube. Like I'm not a speed cuber or anything. But I can solve I used to be able to solve it in like two minutes, which I know ain't that good. But not bad for using the beginner method. Hmm, game storage bags for ten dollars. You get four of them. Like why are people spending ten dollars for essentially four Ziploc gallon bags? I mean call me old fashioned, but I've always used Ziploc bags for like game pieces. I saw this being advertised on TikTok. It's the Rubik's Snake. You can like connect all the pieces together and make different things. And of course you have the Rubik's race up there, but unfortunately you gotta have friends for that one. Oh check that out. They have bug zapper bulbs. I mean, it's a pretty smart concept if you think about it, because bugs are attracted to light, and when they go to the bulb, they get zapped. Pretty cool. These things are always such a scam. Like, look at this. It says squ expression squish mix, like squishy toys. But look, that's not a squishy toy. That's not a squishy toy either. And it's 75 cents. Remember when these used to be like a quarter, and then they went up to like 50 cents? Yeah. What a scam. I don't care what anyone says. This will always be the best Mountain Dew ever. A couple things that are really good at Dollar Tree are these pickles. These pickles are not bad. If you're on the go and want some pickles, these are really good. And they're only $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Another thing that I really like at Dollar Tree is this stuff right here. Old fashioned lemonade unsweetened tea who actually who actually buys this stuff come on now who actually buys unsweetened tea nobody wants that but sweet tea I, i've had theirs it's it's not bad so if you ever uh find yourself at dollar tree pick up some of this it's in the refrigerator section it's really really good it honestly reminds me of the lemon shake-ups that you can buy at the fair it tastes just like it in my opinion really really good i see dollar tree has some breast cancer awareness merchandise so that's pretty cool so another thing about Dollar Tree, which is pretty cool, is they have these Bang Energy drinks. And these cost, what, normally two-something, three dollars at Walmart? I mean, personally, I'm not too big into energy drinks, but the fact that they have Bang Energy at Dollar Tree, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Another thing that I'm seeing at Dollar Tree is Monster Energy drinks. As I said, I'm not too big into energy drinks myself, but it is nice how they have some of these bigger name brands here at Dollar Tree. Oh, they even have a Jones soda. I remember getting these as a kid. Whenever I see these, I always think back to when I wanted to have like a picture of mine on the bottle. So I decided I want to get some corn nuts. And I just saw these. I used to buy these all the time at Walmart. But now you can't really find them very much anymore. The pickles? Pickles in a pouch? These are some really, really good pickles. Like they're very, very good. They have like the regular kinds. And then they have a sour one. And then they have a hot pickle right here, where it's spicy. I think I'm gonna get a couple of these because I just, like I said, I just never really find these anymore. I'm not gonna get any today, but this uh, licorice is really, really good. They have classic red. I just found out that they have a green apple and they have a blueberry pomegranate. And down here they got a watermelon. I just don't understand how someone can have the audacity to open up a drink, drink it, and then just put it on the shelf without paying for it. We're going, where are they at? They're over here? Yeah. Okay. You get to pick one out, all right? Presley loves these things. She always wants one. You can get one. No, you can get one. What one do you want? What they are, they're little magic towels is what they call them, and you put them in the water, and then they, uh... They unfold into a uh, washcloth. By the way, the quality of these are terrible, but that doesn't stop Presley from always wanting one. You happy now? Presley, you happy? Mm -hmm. Another good area about Dollar Tree that I like is this area here. You can find it like on the stationary section, like there's the envelopes and uh, pens and all that. You can find it in the stationary section. 
and this is a good area for parents that want to give their kids like a head start before they go into school or this is a really good area for uh, parents that want to homeschool their kids and get you know give them give them a really good head start homeschooling is something that I want to do for my daughter so uh, I like to come over here and occasionally look and see what they have you'll find some like flashcards like over here like they have some more advanced stuff right here but they have colors and shapes uh, phonics cards um, addition cards uh, they just have a lot of really good stuff that can help out parents and teaching their kids stuff like they have little fun like little characters like Sid the science kid uh, Super Y, I've never heard of that, but Super Y, just like really good stuff, Disney Onward, counting right here, you know, the little people, little tykes, counting cards, shapes, so yeah, I've definitely came here before and got uh, some of these flashcards to help out my daughter. They also have some really good books like multiplication, uh, numbers, colors and shapes, ABC, subtraction, math. So yeah, Dollar Tree has some pretty good books to check out for uh, parents that want to give their kids a little head start or uh, homeschool. So another thing uh, Elizabeth just found was finger paint soap Crayola. So uh, we'll get we'll get a couple of these for Presley to try out. They have we had a blue and pink, but they do have red and green as well. And once again, yes, we're still at Dollar Tree. You want those? And then we're also going to get some Mr. Bubble 4-in-1. We'll probably mainly only use this bubbles. But it's a 4-in-1 bubble bath, body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. We're going to get two of those. Mr. Bubble, that's a name brand, isn't it? Walmart so. sells I know Walmart Walmart sells it. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely name brand. So, that's pretty cool to find that Dollar Tree as well. <laughs> I remember these from elementary school because the seniors would go door-to-door -door and sell them. I don't know if it's a school fundraiser, but I definitely remember them going classroom to classroom and selling them. Presley's happy. She got her uh, some suckers and her little washcloths that she loves. I don't know why. I don't know about you guys, but I just cannot bring myself to pay $6.99 for three caramel apples. According to the package, Kroger teamed up with Reese's, but I still just can't bring myself to pay that. And look, $6.99 for this one? These prices are just outrageous to me. If you guys want a fantastic ready-to-go pizza dough, this one is really good at Kroger. You can find it in the deli section. Okay, so I don't know if all Kroger's have this little section, but sometimes you can find some really good deals. For example, the red netted bags, they're 99 cents. It doesn't matter what's in it, the bag will be 99 cents. And as you can see, I found some jumbo potatoes. So both of these will be 99 cents a piece, $2 total for four b really big potatoes. And as you can see, they're $1.19 regular price for just one. I know I'm not paying by the pound, but I still wanna see how much they weigh. So it looks to be about four and a half pounds for all four potatoes total. Looks like one of these nights we're gonna have baked potatoes for supper. Another good place you can check out Kroger is their deli section. Sometimes they have some really good deals like this pecan roll coffee cake, $2.49, regular $4.99. And it doesn't stop there. They got plenty of really good deals. As long as you get there at the right time and actually look around, you can find some pretty good deals. Private selection croissants, $1.99. Regular $4.99. Need half a cake? Well, Kroger's got you for only $1.99. Okay, now this one is pretty tempting for me. Chocolate fudge brownies. They had vanilla as well, but chocolate fudge, so tempting, but I did not get it. I mean, who's actually going to eat this crap? It looks disgusting, but hey, they got it for $3.49. And if you only want half, they got somewhere there for $1.99. I mean, same scenario here. Who eats sweet potato pie, but they got it for $2.99. They even have apple pie for $2.49 for a half. Another good clearance section is their meat. Sometimes they have these 10 packs of patties for only like 6 bucks, 6 or $7. But they don't have none today. Now these wings, I want to try them so bad, but I just can't bring myself to spend $20. I know that's not bad, but I want to try these wings so bad. Someday I'm going to. I don't know if they're any good or not, but they look like they'd be pretty good. They're called Winganza, and I've only ever seen them at Kroger. You get five pounds. Definitely not a bad deal at all. Now, believe it or not, I'm in a Facebook group called Chicken Wing Connoisseurs of Columbus, Ohio. 
and people say these wings are terrible. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, they, they're all freezer burnt looking in the bag. They're six ninety seven. you get 40 ounces, but that doesn't matter when the wings literally taste like crap, and they're like little, little tiny and freezer burnt. <laughs> this guy's shirt says no lives matter. I would never bring myself to spend $5.99 for a gallon of milk, organic or not, I don't care. But you can bet that I'll pay $1.99 for it. I got the only two that they had left. I mean, yeah, Kroger does have their skim milk for $1.99 for a gallon, but come on, who actually drinks skim milk? <sighs> Too bad they don't have any chocolate milk marked down. Oh look, even that organic brand has skim milk for $1.99. But once again, who actually drinks skim milk? Okay, this is a given, but if you have not downloaded the Kroger app and created an account, it's free by the way, you need to do that because this is a fantastic deal. They have a variety of Chex Snacks mix, so Bugles, Chex Mix, all that good stuff for regular $3.29. And with your Kroger account card, you save a dollar, so it's $2.29. But not only that, if you have the Kroger app and you download the coupon, the digital coupon, you save another dollar. Making them only a dollar twenty nine a piece, and you can use the coupon up to five times, so you can get five bags for only a dollar twenty nine a piece. I wanted to see if my muddy buddy, like Puppy Chow, was included in the deal, and it is. Yeah, I know you can make this stuff at home, but ready to go in the bag, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna pick up Presley two bags of these bugles because she loves bugles. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these for me because I love these ride chips. And then I end up picking up a garlic Chex Mix for me and a cheddar cheese Chex Mix for Elizabeth. Next week I'll get some Muddy Buddies with Elizabeth's card. Okay, so I'm not going to get into today, but these are very, very good. They're Mike Sells Smoked Bacon Chips. They're locally made in Ohio. In fact, they're made in Dayton, Ohio. Ohio Proud, made in the USA. Okay, so I have never heard of these chips before. They're called Cons. And look, they're also made in Ohio. Zanesville, Lancaster, and Columbus, Ohio. Now, this chip is made very local to me in Tiffin, Ohio. They're called Ball Rikes Chips. They even make a one-pound bag of chips. I guess Ohio must be known for making chips because we got three local ones right here. Another fantastic thing about fall weather is it's that time of year, pumpkin roll season. Not carrot cake, pumpkin roll. I know they look the same, but I'm talking about pumpkin roll. Oh, and this kind, this brand is so good. Now, Walmart has a kind, like their own brand, but it's disgusting. I mean, who can't smash a whole pumpkin roll in one sitting? But if you can't, they do sell two slices for $1.99. Hey, that red velvet cake might not be that bad. Okay, these are pretty amazing. I found some last time when I was here at Kroger Markdown. They're $2.99. What I personally like to do is put butter on them, the salt, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Bake them in the air fryer, and they taste really, really good. Okay, so this makes no sense to me at all. You have to look at the regular price they're asking, $2.49 for a 12 count. Okay, well down here they have $2.49 for a 24 count. Like I said, don't look at the sale price, look at the original price. Wouldn't you be better off spending the $2.49 to get the 24 count instead of spending $2.49 for only 12? Because you're spending the same price, but you're getting 12 more. Like, what? Alright guys, well I guess I'm in the video right here. Uh, it's, it's really windy out. Uh, I decided to film on my phone today. I think I'm going to start doing this, you know, like for on-the-go vlogs. I just want to bring you guys with me to Dollar Tree. I don't usually uh, film on YouTube for Dollar Tree. I've mainly been doing it on TikTok. But I'm going to start to move over and transition full-time to YouTube as well. Probably more on YouTube than what I have on TikTok. But if you do want to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me here. Anyways, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Where the